Well, five days after the murder of a USC grad student, police arrested five people, three of them juveniles. A crime in Dockweiler Beach apparently was the key to finding them. KCALINE's Rachel Kim is live tonight in University Park with that story. Rachel. Well, Susie, like you said, the news of this arrest comes just days after Shinran Ji was beaten on a sidewalk just behind us. Five people arrested, four of them, two adults and two juveniles, will be charged with murder with special circumstances. That means if they're convicted, they will be eligible for the death penalty. While the USC community quietly memorializes one of their own, an announcement from police today that they've arrested suspects in connection with the death of 24-year-old Shinran Ji. I'm happy that they made arrests. I'm happy that somebody got caught. The LAPD has arrested five people in the beating death of the international student from China. Ji was walking back home from a study group around 1245 Thursday morning when he encountered the suspects at 29th Street and Orchard Avenue, one block from his apartment. His roommate later found him dead inside. And those five individuals um, accosted him, um, beat him severely, and in what we believe may have been an attempt robbery. Police believe several hours after this beating, the suspects drove to Dockweiler Beach and committed another robbery, which resulted in the arrest of five suspects. That investigation led them to believe that the same suspects were responsible for the beating and robbery of Shinran Ji. But the technology that uh, the University of Southern California and the Los Angeles Police Department have invested in this area has gone a long way towards helping us solve this crime. Investigators couldn't get into specifics about that security technology because of the ongoing investigation. But last year, the USC Department of Public Safety showed us how their 48 license plate readers worked on and around campus. They record and scan license plates, run them through the Department of Justice database, which reveals whether a car is stolen or wanted in connection with a crime. Police didn't give a lot of details about the investigation because they believe the five suspects are involved in a larger crime spree. The fifth suspect who has not been charged with murder is a 15-year-old girl. Reporting live tonight in University Park, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.